came back to Earth after 128 days in space, I thought I had ruined my life. Okay. Just walking, I took a few steps off the spacecraft and then decided to go ahead and use the lay down on the stretcher and be carried away because gravity felt so heavy. My wristwatch felt like a bowling ball on my arm. Uh, the weight of your body is, is overwhelming. Even my ears felt heavy on my head. But some senses are increased. For example, when you're in space, the air cleaning systems are so effective, there's very few odors. Mm. The filters are so good. And when the spacecraft door, the hatch is opened, you're overwhelmed with the smell of grass and the air, and, the, and you, it must be like a dog feels when you can smell bushes when you walk by them. Your sensitivities are so increased because they've been uh, absent for so many months. So it's hard to make t to walk straight, or actually it's hard to make a turn through a doorway because your balance system is so readjusted to space that it, it, it makes it hard to navigate as you turn uh, into doorways. You tend to swing wide. When you tilt your head, for example, to the right, it feels like your body is accelerating to the left. Mm. So you're having all these feelings of acceleration and weight. Overwhelming after the absence of the long space. Re re adapting to the Earth is even harder than adapting to space.
any case. So when this light of the sunrise came, you know, I suddenly am clutching the spacecraft, and my attention is drawn to these amazing colors. You can see the tectonic plates of the Earth. Each continent has its own colors. They almost look like different planets. I always thought Africa looked like Mars. It's kind of red. Uh, each, uh, each continent looks different. The Himalayas, you know, white with their snow and mountainous. The dimension is different in different parts of the Earth. There's no up, there's no down. You're going in and out of light and dark every 45 minutes. The temperature changes by four or 500 degrees each time. So your suit controls have to be manipulated to be ready. Your sun visors have to be put in place uh, so that you so you don't get a, a terrible sunburn at the least. I thought I was seeing things. I couldn't believe that was the whole Earth I was seeing and that it had these colors that I'd never seen before. The pastels and brightness and darkness and colors of deep blue land and I had no idea that the earth could possibly look like another spacecraft that was alive with vegetation and water and this it, it looked like a jewel floating in blackness mm. we got to kind of a safe area on the space ship where there was nothing to break. And this tether was maybe 10 feet long, eight to 10 feet long. And he said, clip that on. Take everything else off, all your tethers off. Turn off your lights. I'll turn my lights off. It was night again. And just push yourself away from the spacecraft. And there we were floating. I couldn't see. Our backs were kind of to each other. And my view, I had this full view of the universe. Our eyes adapted to the darkness. And the Milky Way came out in a way that you can't see on Earth. And floating in the middle of the suit, you couldn't feel when you stood, when you floated motionlessly. You really couldn't feel the edges of the suit. My temperature controls were set perfectly, and I felt like I wasn't even in a spacesuit. I wasn't trying to work or move against the suit, just floating relaxed, looking out into space. Eyes adapted to this incredible darkness, speckled by the stars, and 